Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're putting the Xiaomi Mi Robot Vacuum, the iRobot Roomba 980, and the Dyson 360i in a three-way cleaning head-to-head -head challenge. We're all looking for ways to make our lives more stress-free, and what better way to start than to have a robot clean your floors for you? iRobot, Dyson, and Xiaomi all offer solutions to this problem, but who's the best you can find, and especially for the price difference between some of these? We've recently put the Xiaomi Mi Robot Vacuum and the iRobot Roomba 980 in a head-to-head -head challenge, and today we're adding the Dyson 360i to the mix, and changing up a few tests along the way to give us a fresh look at the ever-changing robot vacuum landscape. All three of these vacuums are very different from one another, and the most different thing between them is likely the navigation systems. Xiaomi utilizes a laser and AI based navigational routine while iRobot and Dyson rely on cameras and other sensors to do the job. Starting with the Roomba 980, we can see the normal pattern of starting off in straight lines, moving from row to row as it makes its way around the room. This setup was made intentionally complex to see how well each vacuum handles obstacles in the way, and although it seems like the Roomba 980 would miss a bunch of spots in the beginning, it goes back after finding the obstacles and moves around them to cover the whole area. Impressive too is seeing how it tries its best to fit in between not just the legs of the chairs, but also the awkward round area this table makes in front of each chair, and it ends with the sweep of the area's perimeter. Dyson's navigation is very different, and that appears in many different ways throughout the cleaning process. First off, it seems like Dyson's vacuum breaks the area into much smaller squares than some other robot vacuums, cleaning an approximately one by one meter area at a time, and then moving on to the next. Its movements are far more unidirectional than the other two vacuums, and that's because the tank tracks on the bottom of the vacuum just don't move like wheels. The vacuum always stops before turning, and it takes its time moving, and continues then on in a straight line. It's interesting to see how it handles some of the chair legs moving around parts but never going outside the predetermined row it's cleaning in. It also doesn't have a bumper on the front so it doesn't run into things the way the Xiaomi or the iRobot vacuums do. It seems to be doing a good job until it gets to the chair in the middle of the room and then it seems to lose all semblance of where it actually is in the room. It doubles back down on the previous path and ends its cleaning job by the sliding glass door, completely ignoring pretty much the entire front left side of the scene. Xiaomi's Mi Robot Vacuum works very differently from the other two, scanning the room before moving and beginning with a perimeter sweep around the area. Then it goes back and fills in the perimeter, following in rows until it gets to an obstacle, then running around that obstacle to clean the area as much as possible. The vacuum does an even better job than the Roomba at cleaning around the base of the table here, and makes sure to get around every single chair leg to clean the entirety of this area without fail. A win for Xiaomi here. Next up, we'll see how well these vacuums can suck up dirt on a hard tile surface. This test was performed similarly to how we've done it in the past. We sift dirt and sand to come up with half a cup of fine dirt particles. No hair or other big chunks in here, just fine green dirt. We lay it out in a line with a squared off section of floor and watch the action unfold. Starting out with the iRobot Roomba 980, we can see its usual navigational pattern of clearing out the middle section of the floor first, followed by a perimeter sweep and a second pass along the floor. On the first pass, it seems to have missed a fair bit of dirt, and that side brush tends to kick it around a little more than you might like too. However, the second pass completely covers the whole floor and picks up nearly all the dust particles. Xiaomi's robot navigates differently, covering the perimeter of an area first, followed by filling in an after. However, the outcome is the same. The side brush kicks around lots of dirt, but in the end, all but a little bit of dirt is left in the grout lines where the vacuum couldn't quite get. Looking at the Dyson 360i, you can see the navigational pattern is wildly different from the other two, and sometimes looks a little bit random. Dyson relies almost completely on the fisheye lens camera up top to see the world around it, and without a bumper or a side brush, it operates very differently too. We can see that the first pass is enough for the majority of the dirt here, with Dyson's famous cyclone suction motors working their charm on that dirt. While it took a second pass to completely grab a section of dirt here, the vacuum seems to have completely forgotten about that spot in the middle, showing the weakness of Dyson's navigational routines with this vacuum. Dyson's vacuum would have won if it weren't for those navigational issues. This is going to be a tie for iRobot and Xiaomi since they covered the whole room. Next up is a new test to see how well these robots do with a thick shag rug. Since shags seem to be coming back in a big way, we imagine many people will run into problems getting them cleaned with their robot vacuums, and you'll find out why here. This shag is a very high pile, over one inch long, and as such proves to be just a little too much for these vacuums to even get up onto. All three of them struggle and never make it in the end, although the Xiaomi and Dyson vacuum seem to do a little bit better than the Roomba of actually trying to get onto the carpet itself. Starting the vacuums off on the carpet instead proves to be just as ineffective, and as such it's pretty clear that high pile shag rugs are not compatible with these robots. 
But what if you have a shorter pile though, something under an inch maybe? In that case, we've got your back as our next shag rug fits in that category and it's here that we see a clear winner. All three vacuums start off on the tile and make their way onto the rug, but Xiaomi and Dyson's vacuums have a harder time than iRobot's. The worst performer in this test is Xiaomi's vacuum, which struggles to clean more than a foot along the edge of that rug. The problem here is that it can't seem to propel itself onto the carpet to clean, and after about two minutes of trying, it eventually gives up and goes home, almost sulkily. The Dyson 360i tries for three and a half minutes subsequently and eventually makes its way onto the carpet, but stalls about a foot or so into the process. Even after resetting the vacuum, it doesn't get much further than a few inches before it stalls again, complaining of things stuck in its roller. The iRobot Roomba 980 is the real champion here, and although it takes a little under a minute to get onto that rug, it eventually makes it and it gets the entire thing clean. It's still a struggle for the veritable little hockey puck, but in the end, it's a clear winner by a mile. Next up is Pet Hair on Carpet, which we tested before, but is getting turned up a notch this time around. This carpet was vacuumed with a rainbow before and between each test to ensure it's as clean as can be and no additional particles would be interfering with the test. We took a full cup of compacted pet hair and scattered it around a carpeted room in clumps, mashing the clumps into the carpet just a bit so as to get those fine hair follicles to stick into those carpet fibers. Dyson's 360i starts off looking a little lost, but it gets its bearings quickly enough and gets to sucking up some hair. As we've seen in our review of the vacuum, it does an impeccable job of picking up debris, no matter the surface or debris type, when it's able to reach it. The combination of hard and soft bristles in the roller help grab every last particle of hair from the carpet, and the patented suction model finishes up the job. Everything looks as it's going to go pretty well until about three quarters of the way through though when the vacuum suddenly stopped and returned to the place it started. After removing the dustbin, it became clear as to what happened. The Dyson picked up every single morsel of hair along the way, and unfortunately its smaller dustbin just became too full. While it did an amazing job of picking up most of the hair in just its first sweep of the room, that small capacity of the dustbin will definitely prove to be a problem for some pet owners. Xiaomi's vacuum is up next, and as usual right off the top we see the excellent navigation skills map out the room and clean it in a logical fashion, getting every nook and cranny without fail. Things are looking really good for it until about two thirds of the way through, where the suction starts to die down considerably, and it begins to leave a faint trail of hair as it moves along. In the end, it only left one of the 12 clumps on the ground, but further inspection of the carpet shows hair follicles scattered all over that last third of the section of the test, leaving more hair than it initially appears. Peering into the dustbin reveals the problem. While there's plenty of capacity here, the suction method of the Mi Robot vacuum is perhaps a little bit too simple. While Dyson's cyclonic technology keeps suction strong, the straight through suction of Xiaomi's vacuum ends up getting clogged by the horde of hair and effectively makes nearly half of the dustbin useless. Last up is the iRobot Roomba 980, which initially seems to have a difficult time grabbing hair on the carpet with its silicone roller brushes, running over plenty of pieces, but not really doing so well at actually sucking them up. It's the second pass that we see far more success, and it shows the importance of keeping two pass vacuuming on when you've got lots of debris like pet hair. This second pass proves to be overwhelmingly successful. Even a close inspection of the rug finds nary a hair particle, and it's clear that while the dustbin isn't nearly as big as Xiaomi's vacuum, its suction methodology seems to be much better designed for these types of situations. A win for iRobot here. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at dropping dirt on the carpet and seeing which one wins. Last time around, we put the Roomba 980 and Mi Robot vacuum head to head, and while Xiaomi's vacuum did a pretty good job, the Roomba 980 did an even better one. In this test, we placed half a cup of the same type of sifted dirt we used on that earlier test into a carpeted area of the house to see which one can extract the most dirt. Last time around, Xiaomi's robot vacuum got about a third of a cup out of the carpet, while the Roomba 980 picked up just a little bit more than that. Will the Dyson 360i do better? Starting off, we see the best case with Dyson's navigation, where it scans the room and then starts off from what it deems to be the beginning of the room. This is the first time in these tests we've seen it behave like it's supposed to, and it's clear that when that happens, it works really well. Moving in rows, it cleans the dirt up quite nicely, leaving only a thin layer behind in its first pass. Unfortunately, it got stuck under the armoire over on the left, something that didn't happen with the other two vacuums, and it had to be dislodged to continue the test. After this, the vacuum seems to be terribly confused, moving in what feels like random patterns for the rest of the time, but making a second pass in most of the carpet. It missed that second pass on two sections here, but in the end, it absolutely creams the Xiaomi and iRobot vacuums and sucks up almost the entirety of the half cup of dirt dropped onto the carpet. If it didn't get stuck, this would be a clear win without a doubt, as Dyson's suction technology proves to be the best. So what do you think? Who's the overall winner here?
The Roomba won two of the tests without question, and may have won a third, depending on who you think the winner in that last test was. Xiaomi's vacuum won the navigation test and tied the Roomba on the tile test. While none of the vacuums could work through the thick shag carpet, it's clear that Roomba is the only choice here for those with these kinds of carpeting at all, as long as you have a slightly smaller pile. Dyson's vacuum would be a much better choice if it weren't for those pesky navigational issues which just seem to crop up too often for our liking. If Dyson can iron these out, it'll be a clear winner for Dyson's suction technology, at least for those that don't have tons of pet hair to fill up that smaller dustbin. We hope you enjoyed that video and will subscribe to us for weekly content. Check us out on your favorite social network and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 Android-based news coverage. Thanks for watching and until next time.